So the time has come to test the nitrogen pressure in the Saracen nitrogen accumulators. And these are the th three left, center, and right. Three cylindrical units in the Saracen. Um, according to the book, you need to relieve all the hydraulic system pressure by pumping the pedal, uh, the brake pedal numerous times until um, the pressure is released in the system. And the air pressure, the pressure in the accumulators with all hydraulic pressure released should be 500 pounds per square inch. Now the trick is there are several issues here. The first, you've got to remove this cap. And it's somewhat difficult to do while holding a phone and videoing it, but once you remove this cap, you can see essentially a standard trader valve. And the problem is that if you connect anything to that, it's such high pressure that you need a special attachment. So what I've done is I've created this little gizmo, which is, um, you've got this high pressure tool, which when you spin this guy, it engages the Schrader valve release pin and actually presses it down releasing air and into the gauge. So you essentially thread this on the nipple. And never done this before. It's pretty nervous. Um, here goes. So the key is obviously to get that nice and snug because at 500 psi there's a ton of pressure in here and uh, I have to put the phone down okay I've got the thing tightened down so I've got this nut threaded on the on the Schrader valve not sure what you'd call it, nipple maybe. And now what I need to do is turn this clockwise that way, which will release which will depress the pin and allow nitrogen to flow into the valve. The problem is I've got this is a eighth inch NPT, and this is a quarter inch NPT, and I have to use this adapter or transition fitting from eighth to quarter. And as much as I tried to thread it on, it only took about three or four turns, and I'm very concerned that this thing is not going to hold pressure, the fitting itself. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have nitrogen, so all nitrogen that I lose makes the system even less effective. But here we go. Hopefully this is not gonna blow up It is secure. Okay, that's all the way in. Nothing's happening. So I don't think I'm able to actually reach 
that trader release valve to engage the, the nitrogen pressure, which really blows. The other explanation is that there could be nothing in there, <laughs> in which case uh, I am totally fucked because I can't really drive the vehicle. Well, unfortunately, the exact same thing is happening in this nitrogen accumulator. When I screw in this valve all the way, which I've done, nothing happens on the gauge. Now off camera, I did depress the Schrader valve nipple in a tiny bit, just for like a split second. Uh, and a little bit of uh, nitrogen came out. So I know the system's not empty. Either that uh, push pin is not engaging the Schrader valve inside, or maybe the valve, or maybe the gauge is defective. I don't know what to think. This is very, very uh, frustrating. <laughs>